Fort Atlas is in good hands. Night Shin's trained as well. Raiders causing trouble again. We'll have to do something about them. Ah, you must be the one I've been hearing about. Paladin Leila Romani. What do you need? As a paladin, I am the commander of the first expeditionary force to Appalachia, and by extension, the ranking officer here at Fort Atlas. I've received a report from Knight Shin detailing your assistance in his duties. He has given his approval to your consideration as an initiate. Word around the fort is that you've been working with Scribe Valdez as well. Between this and the report I have from Knight Shin, we can discuss you becoming a member of our order. Consider it carefully. Do you wish to join our ranks? Do you need something? Both have given their approval to your initiate consideration. Yes. Knight Shin said that your attitude regarding the role of the Brotherhood in relation to the civilian community was questionable. Nonetheless, he felt your intentions were honorable, and suitable training would correct any deficiencies. Which means he probably thought I'd like you. That remains to be seen. In short, she thinks you are capable, helpful, and possessed of a higher-than-average technical aptitude. Useful qualities in an initiate candidate. Yes? Membership in the Brotherhood is a commitment to honor, duty, and service. You would begin as an initiate in our ranks. With time and training, you may one day join the scrolls as a knight or scribe, depending on your aptitudes and choices. On a day-to-day -day basis, Knight Shin would be your direct superior here, though any of the officers may requisition you for missions if needed. With the recommendations of Knight Shin and Scribe Valdez, I'm willing to consider you for membership. But first... I need to see how you handle yourself without direct supervision. In order to be effective in our operations here, we need to establish positive relations with the people of Appalachia. If we make them see us as a beneficial presence in the area, it will be much easier to secure cooperation in the future. We have reports of feral ghoul attacks on traders and travelers in the southwest forest region, indicative of a nest of some kind. I want you to clear it out. I should have had Scribe Valdez transcribe a copy of the Codex for them. At least the entry on composure of Mitz Kale. We don't know. Our initial reports on the attacks came from a family of farmers, the Putnams, that we passed on the way into the region. I think their sons were rather starstruck when we showed up. I almost expected the older boy to follow us when we left. You should start your search there. They may know more. You can find them at the old Lewis and Sons farming supply. Things were While I'm not in the habit of explaining my priorities to would-be recruits, you may have noticed there's a lot of work to be done here. You doing it accomplishes the mission, and adds another member to our ranks. Two birds, one stone. Very well. Do this, and you will be one of us. With all the rights, and responsibilities of a full member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Ad Victorium.
Need to have Valdez take another look at my armor. Ah, 2,000 miles of hikings put some real wear on it. Throwing nukes left. Who do you think you are barging in here? George! Hold it, stranger. No funny moves. So you say, but we'll see. All right, George, lower the gun, but stay ready. Come on now, boys. Get on back to work. You. Let's talk. You walked out on me. What else can you be? Just a fair weather. Now you need to be more careful just waltzing into people's homes. It's a good way to end up with more lead in you than is healthy. I'm Carol Putnam. This is my husband, George. Now, won't you tell us why you're barging in here and Maybe we can all be friendly when you're done. Might not be Lewis or Sons, but this here's ours. Well, Lewis was a cousin of mine back in the day. God rest his soul. He and his family didn't make it when the bombs fell. We were looking a good place to put down roots when we heard it was safe to come back to West Virginia. I told Carol we ought to see if this place was still here. Even after all these years, there's enough salvageable tools and such to make starting a farm easier here than your average homestead. Didn't see any point in updating the sign. No, not all. Just the ones that waltz in unannounced looking like trouble. Those would be them military types in the heavy armor that came through here recently, right? I'm the one that told them about those attacks. Those Brotherhood guys are so cool. Wait, are you recruiting? I, I want to sign up. Their gear was pretty fascinating. Settle down, boys. The adults is talking. So you want to know about them ghouls? Lord, don't get them started. Oh, oh, yeah. The, the blazers, the power armor, they are the coolest thing I have ever seen. Marty, you barely do your chores now, and you get confused by the generator. What good would you be? Yeah, well, at least I'm not a shrimp like you. I can pay you to get these two out of my hair. George! I'm just kidding. You boys know we love you. <sighs> Go ahead, George. I'm curious, too. They're grown, I suppose, and it might be a good opportunity for them. We can't spare them on the farm, though. Too much work to do. One, maybe. As long as you swear to look out for him. Reckon you better ask the wife, though. Now, I don't like it, but they're adults. Or close enough, I guess. And I know they're bound to want to do their own thing, but the farm needs work. We can't do it alone. If one of them wants to go, well, now. George and I'll just have to live with it. But you ain't taking both of my boys, though. Ooh, me, 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 me. No, no. 
Careful, George. You heard the wife. She says one of them can go, then one can go, I suppose. Fine by me. Me, George, and the boys. Marty's the overeager one. Colin's the quiet one. I hope I don't need to remind you we're not defenseless. There's also the robots outside, of course. I got them helping with the chores. <laughs> Nerd. Boys, knock it off. So, us, the robots, and the dogs, I guess. <laughs> and enough firepower to discourage pests. Well, we're getting to be self-sufficient soon. Greenhouse is getting there. George wants to restore the house, but we're fine in here. The boys are gonna want rooms of their own, dear. Don't act like you wouldn't mind being away from their snoring. We've got other work needs doing first. Lord, if I put up with your snoring for 20 years, I can surely deal with them. Can't say for certain. We got a suspicion, though. A lot of the sightings and attacks have been from folks traveling the highway to Flatwoods. They come out of the hills, northwest of the old creamery. And the only thing out that way is what's left of the Orwell orchards. Could be the source of the things. You gonna wipe them out when you find them? Not sure. More than a few, less than an army. From what folks have said, if you're going in alone, even a few can swarm you before you even realize what's happening. Be careful out there. All right, Dan. Just try not to startle us if you drop by again. George has a hair trigger with that shotgun. I really would like to join the Brotherhood. I know I'm not as strong as my brother, but you've got to have a need for somebody smart, right? Smarter than Marty, anyway. No offense to my brother, but if he can't solve a problem with his muscles, he's stumped. I read anything I can find. Most of the work in machinery around the farm is my handiwork. I'm the one who got the bots running. The Brotherhood can't be all brawn and no brains, right? I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't be nervous. Won't know until it happens, I suppose. But I'm willing to risk it if it means getting out of here. It is safe. So safe, I'll end up still running this place when I'm old. There's nothing wrong with farming, and I love my parents, but... There's so much more out there. Maybe so, but Marty's right about one thing. The Brotherhood has the coolest tech. It'd be amazing to get to work with it, and learn from them. Maybe I'm not, but I'm not cut out to be a farmer either. The Brotherhood has tech, and that's an opportunity to learn. That's all I want. Okay. I'll be here if you reconsider.
You, you gotta take me with you. I'm ready for this. I just know it. I'll be just like that Night Shin who was here before. I'm strong, I'm fit, and I'm ready to fight. Whatever you need, I'll fight mutants, or ghouls, or raiders, or, or, uh, whatever. Heck yes. And Paladin Romani. So cool. Hey, I, I asked them a bunch of questions and told them about wanting to leave the farm and everything, and they said I was remarkably keen. <laughs> I, I think that means they liked me. Well, no, uh, but, but I use a rifle sometimes to keep critters away from the crops. One night, I thought I saw a super mute coming out of the woods, so I shot it. Dad came running because of the noise. It turned out it was just dark and I shot a bush, but I wasn't scared. Oh, Mom and Dad are fine here. The farm is their dream, not mine. Besides, the only thing I'm really good for around here is hauling things. I can't grow anything to save my life. I know Colin's got the brains, but even I know that's a bad thing for a farmer. I suppose. But where else would I get to wear that totally awesome armor and learn to be as cool as Night Shin? Of course! Them showing up is the most exciting thing that's happened to me in, like, ever. I know I sound like a kid asking for a treat, but I mean it. I'll do whatever it takes. Can you really get me in? Of course. I'm sure they'll listen to you. I'll be a big help. Just you wait. But are you sure you want to take me? I, I don't want to talk you out of anything, but I'm not your only choice. I mean, the best choice, obviously. But... Oh, yeah, of course. Oh. You you got to take me with. Of course. I know I sound. Can you really get Of course. I'm sure they'll listen to you. I'll be a big help. Just you. But are you sure you... Awesome! Yes! Yes! You are not gonna regret this. I promise I will be the best recruit ever. I'll get my things and meet you at Orwell Orchards. Don't worry. You go on ahead. I will be there.
Potential source found. All right, you're here. Uh, sorry for rushing in first, but I just couldn't wait. Whoo, this basement is crazy, right? Uh, th this has got to be the place. So, how are we doing this? No way! I didn't come here to chicken out. I'll prove to you I can handle this. Just you wait. Sure do. Yeah, Dad gave me an old pistol he had. I used to plink cans with it. Pretty sure I can do the same to some nasty ghouls. Shortcuts. Yeah, you know your way around these woods. You can get lots of places. <laughs> Plus, I ran. I was excited, okay? <laughs> uh, not at all. I just figured ghouls are spooky and basements are spooky, so basements are where ghouls would be. Oh, is, is that not right? Do ghouls like attics? Whew, calm. Yeah. No problem. Gonna fight a bunch of ghouls. Easy. Sorry. I'm just really excited. I won't let you down.
Holy crap. Wow. Oh, okay. I'm alive. That was intense. Uh, is it weird if I've never felt this alive? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay. I, I don't think I've got any permanent injuries. I... Uh, well, now that it's over, I won't lie, I was, I was pretty freaked out. I might still be freaked out. My, my, my heart's racing, and I think I've got the shakes. Is it okay if I get some real training before we do anything like that again? Oh, for sure. More than ever! Watching you fight was amazing. If they can teach me to be half as cool as you, it'll be the best. You got it, boss. I'm gonna make you proud, don't worry. You, Mom, and Dad. Maybe even Colin. I'll see you there. Fort Atlas is in good hands. Knight Shins trained us well. Someone returned their gun to the Quest office. for the Brotherhood should be passed through Knight Do Shin. I need to call a seminar on this? Welcome back. Have you completed your assigned mission, candidate? So, that's why the Putnam boy showed up here. He's very... enthusiastic. Nothing a little training and discipline can't mold. Looks like you've expanded our ranks by more than just yourself. Assuming he doesn't wash out. I like that initiative, soldier. Good work. You've not only met the challenges our officer set you, but you have gone above and beyond by bringing a new brother into our order. I hereby confer on you the status of probationary initiate in the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm sorry, but we'll have to put the official initiation right on hold. Something's come up, and we need to deal with it right away. If you've got anything else you need to take care of, make it quick. Report to me again when you're ready. I am a link in the chain that binds. That is what keeps this world. 